Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the next lesson. Today we're going to be looking for a series of references so that we can get a little closer to the concept that we have of stickers and other things like this. Normally, we're going to know stickers as a series of images that are impacting, that are normally quite attractive in what they want to demonstrate. We can see them on the street, on notebooks, even on computers. We can literally see them anywhere we might want to stick a sticker on, really. Right now, we're seeing that they're becoming more and more popular thanks to the eccentric model that they show and the messages that they might have on them. Even if maybe there are just a few words. Stickers are also something used in social media. We have them on Facebook, Instagram, you know, and other kinds of social media. We can even see them animated in some cases. In our case, we're going to be preparing a file that's designed for print. And this way, we can develop our own stickers. Right now, we're seeing a series of images that I want to use as a reference to make my own. We can see that on these stickers, we're going to see different expressions, different gestures that we might be able to relate to. They might be done through smiles or tears or through some kind of angry face, etc. For this reason, we have to remember that if we're going to create a character, it has to have some harmony to it. For example, here we're looking at uh, the push, the machine. Here we can see these ones that are more designed towards summer. They have to have some kind of common aesthetic. If we're going to design a pack of stickers, you, you, you can make them randomly, but we're going we're gonna to be creating a character that's going to express different expressions. I've gone to Pinterest to look deeper for references for what I want to do. Okay, I'm going to search for the word sticker, and let's see what we're going to get. What we're getting are similar things to what we've seen in the Google search. Especially these kind of like quiche things, okay? That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for something a little more cartoon, like these cats here. So yeah, this is just a question of the aesthetics that you're looking for, alright? Uh, but these hamsters are cute as hell, and they look like a good example of what we're looking for. You know, they're showing some expressions that we're looking for that we want to show whoever is going to see those stickers. We can also look towards emojis as examples that we might see. Not just on social media, but also on our phone. We use them to express ourselves with more intensity, like these smileys, for example. What they do is allow us to show a good face or a bad one. It's like a reaction without having to show our actual face. Here, as you can see, there's a ton of examples of what we're going to be looking at and doing. And yeah, let's get these references that we want to use as examples. And yeah, what I've chosen to do is inspired by unicorns. I think they're a kind of animal that are quite popular, so to speak. I mean, they're not real, but, you know, people like them. I don't know why. And I've decided that I want to develop a character based on this. That might be apl applicable both to stickers in the physical world and maybe even animated stickers. Who knows? Right now, we're only going to be looking at the physical world stickers, but, you know, who knows? This could go anywhere. After checking out these references and getting our ideas more or less straight, we've seen these generic concepts that unicorns have, we're going to move on to the next phase. That would be to make a series of sketches to know which of these is in the style that we want to work with. And yeah, you can use all of the images you need and, you know, prepare yourself for the next lesson. See you in the next lesson. Bye!